Today we're removing the stereo from a 2004 to 2008 Acura TSX. We're going to start at the far right hand side of the dash at the small panel and work our way to the left, prying this panel from the dash, releasing the clips. The clips will release with pry pressure and we'll remove this panel and set it to the side. We're going to move to the left side of the AC controls and, re and pry this small panel from the dash as well. Uh, two clips here in this panel can be removed. Uh, with this panel removed, it exposes one screw to the left side of the AC controls, and we're going to remove this Phillips screw. Move over to the right side of the AC controls and remove one Phillips screw as well to the emergency flasher switch. And we're going to pry the edge of this connector, this uh, switch and connector, from the dash. It may take several tries getting this to release from the dash and pull it from the dash. Uh, there is a connector with the trigger. We're going to squeeze the trigger into the connector and release this connector and we can set the emergency flasher to the side. Now in this opening from the removal of the emergency flasher switch is one Phillips screw and we're going to remove this screw. We're going to move back to our pry bar and start at the bottom left hand side of the front dash panel of, at the AC controls. Move to the right. Hopefully this releases the clips along the bottom and we're going to work our way around this panel all the way up around the car stereo across the dash and back down the left side of the car stereo. We see the stereo in the shop for the CD changer not working properly. With all the clips removed we're going to pull this panel from the dash. This is going to allow us access to the uh, uh, back of the panel behind the front display and push button assemblies and at the top of there are two green connectors. Each has a trigger on it. You'll squeeze the trigger into the connector and release the, the connector. The uh, bottom connector here has a trigger on the top. We can push that down and remove that connector. This will allow us to pull the car stereo forward. We're going to grasp the uh, base of the antenna that goes into the car stereo. That will remove with pull pressure. And the main power connector for the stereo also has a trigger on it, which is at the bottom of the connector here in this picture. Uh, pull this panel forward. Be sure all the connectors are released. and we can. With this panel removed, we can... Put it face down on a soft cloth. Remove three screws down the left side of this panel and one at the bottom. Three down the right side and one on the bottom as well. And this way you can remove the car stereo from the front panel with the brackets. Remove the brackets and the car stereo is removed. Hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.